It is shocking video we first showed you last night at 9. One person died. Others were saved by Good Samaritans who ran in to help. And now DPS troopers tell us the woman accused of causing that crash is facing charges. Officers say this woman, Suzanne Hodgson, a reporter for the Smithville Times newspaper, was driving under the influence before that crash on Highway 71. KXN's Amanda Brandeis spoke with one witness who says the experience gave him a new perspective on life. It all began at a red light. When we were about three or four hundred feet back that way, we could see just a small plume of smoke. Jay Arredondo quickly realized where the flames were coming from. Within a minute, maybe two, um, the whole thing was just a big ball of fire. You couldn't even see the cars underneath it. Investigators say Suzanne Hodgson was driving under the influence and crashed into a pickup, which then crashed into an 18-wheeler. It was like a, a disaster zone. All that's left here now is charred grass, burnt pavement, and bad memories. But despite all this, Jay says lives were saved, all because of heroic citizens. It was a full um, rescue effort to get these people out. Jay says people nearby pulled two women from the cars, one of whom was Hodgson. I saw tears, I saw distraught faces. I saw people look like they had been working under the sun from sweat. But despite their efforts, the driver of the pickup, Lorenzo Ruiz, couldn't be saved. Right after we said a prayer, and I'm happy to be here today. Jay wants to thank the Good Samaritans for risking their own lives to save others. In Bastrop, Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. And we were curious about those bystanders who rushed in, but wondered what you should do in a similar situation. Bastrop firefighters do have these tips. They say to keep a fire extinguisher and a roadside kit in your car. It'll come in handy if you pull up on a crash like this one. They also say the witnesses to this crash did the right thing, getting people out of that burning car. However, they warn if the car is not on fire, you should not pull someone out. Moving them could do more harm than good.